Molt bona tarda a tothom. Avui és un gran dia, comença un cap de setmana de Barcelona Bluegrass Camp. Ens agradaria a tots i a tota l'organització que estiguéssim en directe i estiguéssim disfrutant i gaudint del Barcelona Bluegrass Camp com normalment ho hem fet durant aquests últims cinc anys. Però no és possible i aquest any hem decidit de fer-ho online perquè no podem passar sense un Barcelona Bluegrass Camp. Hi ha moltes coses a dir durant aquest cap de setmana que us direm dient, però jo primer personalment crec que he de donar i hem de donar gràcies a tota la gent que crec que fem possible aquest campus, que són en Joan Manel, Xavier Cardús, Ignasi Cardús, el Jorge Rodríguez, el Juan Pablo, el Michael Laxton, que sense ells no seria possible. I una menció especial al supertècnic, que és en Joan Manel, que és increïble. Toca tots els instruments, totes les tecnologies i què us puc dir. Bé, no sé si hi ha algú ja que ens està veient, poseu algun missatge perquè ho pugui veure. I, bueno, no us vaig saber de tots els sitios, vaig a oir català, castellano, francès, inglès, de tot. La veritat és que querem veure-vos a tots, que participeu en la rifa, en totes les activitats, en tots aquests talleres que hem de donar les gràcies a aquests grans professors que han volgut ajudar-nos en aquesta sexta edició del Barcelona Bluegrass Camp. Ei, Laura! Hola, Laura! Què tal? La sempre gusta. Clar que sí, vaig a veure en nada. No vull parlar gaire i us vull deixar, com no, amb aquests grans professors. Recordeu, ara us vull deixar primer per a la introducció de Rafael, però abans quiero... Molt important. Recordeu, el fin de setmana ha de beure bon whisky, bon vin, molt de bluegrass, fidel, mec, guitar, mandolin, tot. Ara, ara, deixeu-me introduir els meus molt bons amics i professors del Barcelona Bluegrass Camp, Gemma Riordan i Sharon Lombardi. Hola. 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 Ups, crec que we have a problem with the video. Yeah. Is it is it good now? Yes. Okay, so uh, we, for the first day of the new BBC camp in front of the computer, and uh, I hope we will be many, many people all together. So tonight we will have the, the first workshop with a great friend of mine and a great musician and His name is Raphael Maillet. He is able to play many different styles of music. He could play violin or fiddle. He could play classical music, Irish music, bluegrass music, old time music, jazz, and so and so and so on. So we are really, really lucky to have him tonight. And uh, maybe I will buy a fiddle. Yes. I don't know. Maybe because it's so nice. So, how are you, Raphael? Comment ça va? Comment vas-tu? Salut les amis. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Um, I'm fine here in Paris, in Montmartre, near oh. the Sacré Cœur. Oh, yeah. oh la la! Yeah. <laughs> so well, it's quite of a, a great international. Uh, meeting so we hope all the technique uh, will be okay okay we are crossing fingers but we are not crossing fingers because we want to play but we are crossing <laughs> uh, our head fingers so um is it um, is it started yes everyone is this hearing me okay well? okay i apologize for my english you can go now yes yes and uh, waiting for the last people to come and connect uh, with um, with this i just uh, i just gonna, I'm just gonna play a little tune a little bluegrass tune because we are in the in the bluegrass so it's a very famous tune called gold rush by the written by the great uh, byron berlin mm -hmm. 
the great musician. So I try to play alone. That's weird because usually I need a banjo, at least. <laughs> <laughs> and then a guitar and a double bass, so well. So it was just to um, waiting for waiting for the last people to connect. I hope the sound is great. Uh, well, that's the first time for me to to do that. So uh, okay, okay. I check all the the messages. So I will try to do my best. It's quite uh, weird to see no one, to hear no one. But well, I I guess you will be you will be understanding. Uh, the, the way I try. Okay, let's go. Uh, we just have only uh, one hour to talk about what is a fiddle. Uh, so um, we try to speak about the, the bluegrass, of course, but more about the fiddle in a general way. So I'm gonna tell you some kind of big, big, big ideas. Uh, I like to talk about in details but uh, during just one word gonna be very huge stuff so um let's go um the more i practice uh, the more i teach and the more i find that the big uh, problem that we have when we try to play uh, kind of traditional music is a problem with the with the body about what we call the big word, the synkinesis. Okay, so don't be afraid. Um, let's say that it's a big independence day. The synkinesis definition is when a voluntary muscle movement causes the simultaneous and voluntary contraction of other muscles. So the idea is when you do that on your belly, you want to do that only, but you want to do that, okay? So when you do this with your right hand, you want to do this with your left, okay? Because you want it to be on a balance. But it's not, it's weird to do that and to do that. So what happened uh, when we are playing the violin or the fiddle is when we do one movement on the left finger, we want to do one, one, one movement with the right. So it makes people uh, playing quite a uh, straight uh, way. Um, because I, I always want... And it's always one note at the left end means one bow at the right end. So the idea is to manage with this. Um, in fact, the bow, the bow uh, usually is uh, submitted to the left hand because we are focused on the left hand. We want to play in tune. We want to play the right notes. So the bow from the start we learn is used to follow the left hand. But in traditional music, in fiddle, it's the opposite. 
it's the bow, the rhythm, who leads the left hand. And I would say that no matter the notes, it's more important the bow. So I will give you a lot of uh, uh, quite a big techniques to um, to you with that. I hope everyone has his fiddle, maybe ready. Yes, it's a fiddle workshop, so everybody has his fiddle. Okay, right in tune. Here, my A. Okay, so uh, the bow has to lead because it's the fiddle is a is music for dancing. That's the big difference with the, the violin music. But I have to say that a lot of violin music is inspired by dance music, of course. Uh, it's a big, big uh, stuff. We can talk about this for uh, hours. But I mean, fiddle music is especially based for dancing, really, really for that. So the rhythm and the bow is the master. And we want to use the power of the natural weight of the bow. Sometimes we need it, and sometimes we need to fight it, to play with it, in fact. We are playing music, so we are playing with something. We are playing with notes, of course, but we are playing with the bow, with rhythm, OK? That's why I tried to do in the, in the little bluegrass uh, tune I played. So, uh, how could, could we do that? First, I want you, everybody, to understand that you have to be focused when you practice to fight what I call the nya nya nya. The nya 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 is the bow making nya 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 with no perception, with, with, no, uh, with no real matter. If you want to play one note at the right during one note at the left, please use your wall bow. At least the wall bow, okay? But you have to find ways to, to, to fight this, the, the, the synchinesis problem, Independence Day, remember, okay? So no nya nya nya. For example, if I have to play two notes, in a tune, I will try maybe to play it in one bow. Okay? One movement at the right, two movements at the left. Okay? On the other side, I could play one note at the left, but two movements at the right. Okay? My left hand plays, but my right. Okay? My left hand is the same, but not the, the bow. Now, if your feeders are ready, I would like to talk about the different weights, the different pressure we could have with the bow and the left hand. How could we fight the synchinesis? How could we win the Independence Day? So maybe you have heard about harmonics. The harmonics is to just put your finger to, uh, to make a, a little, just a little pressure, but nothing, nothing on the, on the string. And then your bow has to play a real sound, but your left hand is not making weight. So you have a lot of harmonics all about And then you, you, you have, also uh, what we call the harmonics artificial. So I put weight on one finger and no weight on another finger. OK, so it's kind of a game of weight between the left and the right hand. OK, when you have difficulties, think about the bow. Think about the pressure of the bow. So that's a good, a good step. You can also do what I call the electric guitar style. So this is when you are a lot of pressure on your bow, but not at all on your left hand. So you have kind of a sound we try to, to not make usually. That's 
a usually kind of beautiful sound. And so what are the three kinds of sound we could have at the violin? So let's try with your fiddle. First, make a good sound on the E, for example, first finger on the D string. You turn, make me a, a beautiful E. Wow, incredible, perfect. Then you have the powerful sound we don't like, too much weight. Go ahead, don't be afraid. Yes, perfect. And now we have the sound we don't want to do is less, too, too, not enough weight on, on the right. Go ahead. You know that sound? So you can play with those three kinds of sound. It's working, it's practicing to be able to do what you don't want to do. Okay? So you can have on the same note, you can say, okay, good sound, too much weight, not enough. And you can play with this. And when you are playing your scale, you can do that. One note, good sound, too much weight, not enough. Okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Play with that. It will it will make your right hand very uh, um, focused on a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so um, that's a good good exercise. That three types of sounds. And the last um, thing you can do to 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 make uh, your left hand playing with the weight she can uh, put on the, on the violin. Is to make the shifts, but that's kind of a sh of a shift. But I would like you to play this kind of shift, shift, kind of shift. It's kind of Indian technique, okay. It asks you to, to have kind of different pressure between your left hand and your right hand. Independence Day, remember? Okay, so then we can work with the bow, the bow technique. So if you have your fiddle with you, and every, everyone is cool, I said that the bow has to lead. So we will use the bow like a drummer, in fact. Okay, it's about rhythm. So let's try for the moment we want to dance. We are not playing the fiddle. We are dancing with the fiddle and making music for the ears. So it's all about energetic waves. So we are dancing. So take your fiddle and then just focus off about all your breath during you are making your fiddle. So. Look at that. If I play this, do I breath in or do I breath out? Okay, I think about the pressure, okay. And then I will ask you to breath in when you are up bow and breath out when you are down bow. Go ahead with me. I breath in. I breath out. I breath in, I breath out. And you can do this. It's very cool to put yourself down when you have to play. But as I said at the start of this workshop, sometimes we will use the natural weight and sometimes we will fight it. We will play with this. So as you know, here we have too much weight. Okay. Naturally, I'm gonna play this. And here I have not enough weight. Usually I always play this. So my work is to play here to make kind of less weight. And little by little putting weight to have a constant weight or the bow. Okay, that's a very, very good work. Okay, no problem with that. But we have also to play with the fact that here we have a 
great weight and in here we have no weight so her bow is making that if i don't fight the nature okay so we're gonna play with that when we are in breath in just a little of hair my bow is following my breath in and my breath out the quantity of bow is the same that the quantity of hair okay a lot of uh, wind instruments are to, uh, thinking that they have a hair like they are breathing so let's try a lot to do this that's a very good stuff i start very little because when i breathe in it's very little and more and more That's the reason why when we want to play something with the first beat, it's always down because it's usually the most important. We're going to play a... It will be natural to play that. We don't want to play a... Except to make some effects, okay? Effect, except if we want to play with this. But what we usually want is... Okay? That's why when we are chopping, we are... Here, we have a lot of weight. It's important. We want weight. And if you want to play... If we want that, it's not the same place of the bow, okay? It's about weight. So, uh, now you are, we are going to breath with the bow in the same way, but we are going to make it in rhythm, okay? So, I'm going to make some, um, some metronomic count. And I will ask you to breathe in in three and to breath out in four, okay? Like this, I breathe in, one, two, three. I breathe out, one, two, three, four. With me, breath out. Breath in, breath out, two, three, Four. Breath in, breath out. Once again, breath in, breath out. Don't focus about the sound too much for, for now, but more about the sensation of the relationship between your breath and your bow, okay? Because it's about that. Our body is connected to the music, and this is an instrument for the music. So everything is connected. So do this on scale, do this on everything you want. It's a very, very good stuff to do. And I will always say that if you do this with several people, if you have to play with a band, if you have to play with an orchestra, if you do this with everyone, it's such an incredible uh, stuff to do it's uh, sometimes more efficient than uh, than practicing uh, really to connect all the the tempo the 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 time relationship and the energies so that's uh, a very 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 cool stuff to do i do this a lot with my students and um, and they love it so um, go ahead so then because the the bow is a drum too we're going to play with this. So we are making kind of different weight in the same bow. As I said, you can play here very loud, here very uh, light, OK? Play with this very light, and then very weight, OK? And the opposite, very light and very weight. Play with this. Fight the nature. Make the nature your friend. And uh, then we are going to make what I, we, we, we could call the bow vibrato. It's waves, in fact. So the idea is to, 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 to make a sound, like a, a usual one, but to make some... To make some waves, okay? My left hand could not make 
waves like this. And you can play it on scale, of course. Okay, go ahead with me. So you can do this, do your own stuff, be your own teacher. So then you can add rhythm if you are quite more advanced. So you put um, a metronome and you say to this metronome, okay, I'm gonna play eight and then sixteenths uh, like this. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. One two one two three one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. Do you understand? You can make four three two one, and you can uh, mix everything with that, and it's a great great stuff for all the right harm. Um, you will find a lot of um, very cool stuff with this exercise. Okay, so go ahead, and then um, you can make waves the same. Uh, in separate bows. So when I said I could put one weight on the left and then and I do waves in this kind too. So find your way, making make rhythms, okay? And that's what we call accents. But uh, if you are asked to your left hand, do you put some more weight when I have an accent on the right bow? She will answer, well, I don't know, but no. Okay, it's not. Okay, you put a weight. And it's all about that when you're playing. Okay, the idea is to put different kind of combination of notes, but not thinking about what happens on the left hand. It's all the bow we manage. Okay, so make weight and uh, waves, and you can put it in your scale. Let's go for the for the just on one octave, no problem. So we can have. Go down and then or, or. Okay, play with that, play with the weight. So, um, for the left end, let's uh, talk about the left end. I just check the over. Uh, okay. So, for uh, the left end, the idea when you play the fiddle is because the bow is leading everything. Well, the left end is quite thinking in double stops or in triple stops. Um, you can. Um, yeah, it's like... In bluegrass especially, you have a lot of double stops. Uh, but you have in old-timey music too. But even in Irish music, you are, think you are thinking in double stops because it's all about arpeggio. So it's the way you, you think the fiddle in this way, except 
usually we are thinking in this way okay in one string but when you are starting to play the fiddle you understand you are playing on two strings or three strings okay so that's important to to be able to to, to play your double stops work on that and then It's not new. Um, a lot of a lot of classical uh, composers are using this, so um, it's uh, it's not it's not a big deal. But in the fiddle, it's very very important. You are playing, on, for example, on two string. Uh, you see, my bow is more powerful to play this it's more powerful than to play a lot of notes very quickly uh, and is doing nothing okay it's one note it doesn't matter it's not a big efficient but well it's a um, that's that the thing we are all focused on the, on the left and left and left end but well um so yeah one thing you can do to make your uh, your right end being more free is in fact um to dance but i mean literally to dance so put some very good music and powerful music like uh, Jamie Rockway and uh, dance on um, on your own in your uh, own uh, flat in your own house in your own garden take your violin and then dance dance with it and just feel the power of the beat and and play some stuff with that we are so lucky to play the fiddle to uh, to have an instrument we can follow our, our body when we are moving so we have to we have to be happy to to, to have that we have to um to enjoy this so do this in your own okay think a lot about your head and your neck okay if you are too much like this uh you will you will ask your body to to be uh <laughs> to be straight so remember to put your head and your neck okay and then go ahead like this and you can play just on double stop you put the music you want okay and you dance on it and do what you want in rhythm okay like you are playing uh, a percussion a drum okay so uh so do 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 your stuff. Put some Jamiroquay. Put some Earth, Wine and Fire. <laughs> so all the people, Luis, you can dance with your banjo. Of course you can. <laughs> if you play the piano, it's more difficult. If you play the cello, it's more difficult. But you can do, you can have the same feeling. But we are very lucky to be able to do that with our fiddle. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's dance with it. It will it will ask to the to the right hand. Say, oh, okay, it's more important to be in rhythm and to be very efficient with the right bow than the left hand. Okay, left hand. It's it's just uh, it's just notes. Okay, it's not it's not a big deal really. So um, you can do the yeah open string what you want. Um, okay, so. Um, uh, I don't know. Do you have uh, maybe any uh, request now? Because I just um, I just see that uh, on the right side of my screen, I can uh, I can answer some some question. Okay, people say hola. Oh no, I I can I can go in down. I can't. Okay. So um, if you have questions, it's uh, the moment. I think. Um, that's with oh, okay here okay 44 people that's good yes thank you so much for being here um so if i play for, for example i i'm gonna play the the first tune i play but kind not so fast 
and so you can see what happens on my um, on my uh, on my right hand. Okay, think about all all we we are talking about. Sometimes it's kind of improvisation, you know, but the bow is here to making some stuff. And I remember I, I just made something like that. But a lot of people could say, oh, come on. Uh, you want to play that? OK, that's clear. But when I was playing this, it was not so clear. It was. But I have a meeting with this and i wanted this meeting so it's more important to be on the right time than to play the the, the right notes okay so do you have any question uh -huh, uh -huh. hola hola yepa yepa super super yeah yeah okay um i have to i have to mention because uh, we are here, um, uh, we are here in a bluegrass uh, camp. So uh, thanks uh, a lot um, for making this happen to the Barcelona Bluegrass Camp and uh, to Arras uh, Festival. So I have to talk about this, guys. This is an incredible bluegrass violin method made by my good friends Oriol Sanya and Luis Gomez. So uh, go ahead. It's um, on Mel Bay. Okay, that's a very good, good uh, um, edition house. So uh, you have a lot of stuff uh, to, um, to improve your, uh, your bluegrass skills. So there's a question, some doubts about improvising on a bluegrass tune. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of things to, to say with, with that. Um, the big particularity about playing traditional musics is that um, you can play the same tune when you just start the instrument and when you are playing this instrument for years and, uh, and decades. Uh, it's because um, that the power of those music is to bring the people together to make no difference between the levels, to make everybody playing together, everybody meeting. It's kind of a social uh, media um, at, the, uh, at those times when they, don't, they didn't have electricity. So they had the social media what, to dance and to play music together. So um, those tunes are very simple at the start and became less and less simple. So if you want to improve your way on bluegrass or in every uh, in every uh, kind of music you want to play uh, you have to play the very very simple way and then you're gonna add some little uh, I, I told them decoration so if you have a note for example you have all the bow technique you can make long bow short bow dancing bow and playing something very, very uh, easy, but with a lot of style. 
so um if you want to to play i think that if you want to play uh, good uh, bluegrass you have to um, to be able to play old timey music and to play blues and then you will uh, put all of those influences into the bluegrass um that's very uh, very important so um when you are when you are listen listening to all the, the bluegrass fiddle player they play a lot of double stops so practice practice your double stops every uh, every uh, every double stop you can in every uh, in every chord okay and then because you will be able to play a lot with the bow you will be You know when they play something like that? This is very simple. It's all bullshit because it's all the bow is is making the wall the wall work. But it's uh, it seems that there's a lot of, uh, of 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 notes, but not at all. The left hand is very simple, and it's uh, the bow who, who put the illusion. There's a lot of notes. Okay, so uh, we could we could um, talk about that. Um, uh, we could talk about that uh, uh, maybe in a, in, a, in another way. Um, this is great. Uh, you stress the groove rhythm, uh, music and danceability. Can you demonstrate also some waltz rhythmical pattern? Well, in a waltz, it's yeah. If you put your bow, okay, let's. Uh, Thank you for this for this question. That's very important. Talking about the bow, usually we have one position for the G string, one position for the D, one position for the A, and one position for the E. But in the fiddle way of thinking, we are quite a lot always on two strings. So we have three um, different positions. And we are we are on two strings like i said before you have to think on several strings and then with your wrist with your hand so when you are playing words for example The bow is creating uh, all the, the bouncing stuff because I put my bow on two strings and then I'm making waves. So uh, if you if you listen to Cajun music, music Cajun. That's a very, very good way to improve your bow, uh, your, your bow weight, because they play kind of slow tunes, very weight. Uh, casual music is perfect for that and for the words and uh, for the and uh, for, for everything of it. Listen, listen to listen to casual music. That's uh, <laughs> OK. And then listen to music from Quebec. <laughs> music from Quebec, for example, you have a, a lot of what I call nya nya nya. It means one note at the at the left, one note at the right, but there's a lot of rhythm in the same. Uh, you know, it's not um, it's not the same weight on every every bowing. Okay, so that's what you have to focus on. You have to remember Independence Day. Okay, that's the um, the key word. To say, okay, I have to play with the different weights of uh, of my uh, my both hands, okay. Um, ah, yeah, I, I have to say that um, maybe I, I will. Yeah, that's that's a good stuff to say. I will make uh, the li a little um, uh, how you say in English. Um, uh, no, it's not it's not resume. A summary. Uh, I will make a little summary of. Um, of what we are talking about 
So please feel free to um, to give me your uh, email address and I will send you um, the summary of what, what we are uh, saying so you can practice uh, at home those different ways. So I, I gave you big ideas. Uh, remember that you have to be your own teacher and you have to listen a lot of music and share uh, with everybody uh, your um, ideas, your doubt, your... Um, um, so looking for uh, answers is already practicing. So share, uh, share everything you share everything you, you you need with all people. We are here a great community on Fiddle. On this time, we need uh, good vibes, good energy, and um, music is very important for that. So let's share th those kind of a very important thing. How do you do? Uh, uh, your scale uh, and you work with the with the weight. I uh, I didn't well understand what he said. Uh, the rhythmical ways uh, in the bow. So um, don't be afraid to um, to 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 share your uh, what what you understand. And uh, please, uh, if you if you want, uh, give me your uh, your email address. You can find me on uh, social medias too, on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and kind of stuff. And um, so I can answer your question too. Okay, that's a that's a great time uh, to um, to do this. Um, okay, of course it will never replace uh, uh, to be to be in uh, in real life to play uh, to play together to feel the real breath. <laughs> okay, the real uh, sound and the real energy. But for the moment we are uh, like an elastic. Okay, we are we are managing with that. And when it will be um, a load, we will uh, free all this energy and it will be awesome to play uh, with everybody, to meet everybody, to, uh, to have great times um, and to play, uh, to play real music with a real, real good friend. And I have to thank uh, a lot uh, for all the people who are working for this uh, Barcelona workshop, Rugas workshop. So thank you. I, I hope they hear me. So a lot um, about Luis and uh, John for uh, everything. Carol, of course. All those people, they are um, trying to do their best in those times. So um, thank them very much. Uh, please um, feel free to help them uh, if you want. OK, they are very, very uh, beautiful people. I love them very much. And I love um, all the I have a lot of friends uh, of friends in, uh, in Barcelona and uh, and it's pain, so um, so uh, I I love them uh, I love them a lot. So, do you sometimes spice up your fiddle tunes by bluesy stuff? Can you show me some example? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, the blues uh, blues is the way. <laughs> blues is kind of the way. You have to work on your blues a lot. Um, and in bluegrass, it's very important. So I can make a whole workshop about blues. I can make a one workshop about um, creating a variation on a tune. Which kind of changement do we have to looking for? Well, you have a lot of kind of note changing. If I add this note, I can play this or this. It's called the broderie. So I have a whole workshop about uh, how we can uh, make a tune uh, our own way uh, based on a very, very simple one. So um, it's a, uh, we, maybe we will have time to, to talk about, uh, to talk about that, or maybe uh, in the future in different camps, different uh, workshop or masterclass, it's kind of um, very interesting uh, stuff. So um, there's a lot to say about uh, how to, to, to make a simple tune more complicated. There's a lot of stuff to say, how could I practice my own scales? Because the scale is something you can, uh, you can work on your, ver your deep and your own preoccupations. So scales are very, very uh, interesting for that. Um, there's a lot of stuff to, to, to say about dancing and the, um, and the, um, and how you can um, when you can balance with your body and uh, 
and and your and your instrument, your external instrument, as I like to say. And um, we can sing also with uh, with the violin, so that's a great uh, stuff to do. And we can chop also. So chop is kind of the rhythmical uh, way uh, to um, to use the the violin because we are kind of drumming with that. So we have to manage the bass, the bass line, then the drum line who's the chop way, and then the harmonic stuff, like the guitar or the banjo or the piano, what you want. And then you put it everything together, the bass, then the drum, and then the banjo or the harmonic. So work, uh, the chop is a is a big uh, is a big stuff, and when you manage this, you can sing with that. I play and sing nothing. It's not the the big deal. So I have a lot of uh, of videos uh, about uh, chopping and a lot of videos about uh, singing uh, and playing the violin in the same time, but it's always about um, making the making the music part of what we want to 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 hear and um, it's big a big stuff and we don't have to to focus on the left end because there's so much stuff to do in uh, in other ways than only the the left end but most of people are focusing on this because it's why we hear first but when you start to, to feel the power of the bow or to feel the power of the nuances, the power of the dynamics, you will see that uh, a very simple tune could be played with the same left hand, but with a lot of very cool variations and very high level variations, in fact. So um, that's why in my workshop, I, I used to, to have different levels. It's not a big deal for me. I have very beginners and very advanced because it's not it's not about technique yeah it's about feelings it's about uh, your body your breath so um it's it's quite uh, okay it's quite hard in fact to talk about that with nobody to once were in just one hour uh, but uh, i guess uh, i guess you have kind of big lines and uh, if you want uh, more uh, more more details, please uh, don't um, don't hesitate and, and uh, ask me. I will be very glad to uh, to help you in your uh, um, in your way of uh, of uh, research. What was your first fiddle tune or bluegrass song break you played as a beginner? Can you do your beginner version and more advanced you played today? Thanks. Who? Oh. Well, it's a hard question. Because no, I, it's it's like asking me to uh, to feel like a beginner. So I will maybe should put my violin on the other side to play. I don't know. Um, but um, um, I start to um, I start to listen to Irish music first. But I was playing like a beginner. It means nya nya nya. Uh, I could try maybe to make you, uh, but well, I mean it's a it's a it's a caricature, okay? But um... because I bought like a big uh, uh, big score about Irish music. So in Irish, in in the score of traditional music, they don't put the bows. Uh, because everyone do his own so they just put like a skeleton of a tune and you have to make the, the tune yours so when i start to 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 buy the score the irish music score it was just boring because i was just playing the notes it was very easy for me uh, and i said okay uh, so that is that is it irish music and that's all 
But the first time I was very uh, shocked, it was when I heard old timey music, because old timey music is what we are talking about. It's very simple notes, but you have a groove, you have a deep uh, bow technique. Um, so it's not at all about um, uh, fast, about the left hand playing a lot of not very hard. and uh, No, it's all about the right bow. So the first time I, I listened to, to this music in live, I mean, uh, I have to mention the guy I met. His name is Polo Burguier, the French guy who, who won a lot of uh, contests in America. Um, well, I, I was quite of, uh, shocked because I was playing the same notes, but it was not the same tune. Okay, that's a very important picture to have. The same notes sounds like not the same tune. It because of the bow. So, um, <laughs> and then uh, I said, oh, okay. So I have to practice, practice, practice. And, and the more I try to understand, and in fact, uh, the less it worked. And when I started to dance, when I started to, to understand that taking, dancing with a lady in my arms, it's exactly the same that having the fiddle in my arms. And I said, oh, I am dancing with my fiddle, in fact. And then I said, okay, let's go, let's dance. And the time uh, goes by and you are falling asleep because it's quite 3 a.m. in the morning. And, and something happens. Um, the name of the violinist is Polo Burguier. He played um, on, a, on, a very, uh, on a very, very good band named Ida Red All Time Band. But he made some solo, uh, very, very interesting. But he's very humble. And uh, each time I, uh, I, I say to him, uh, I love your version of this tune, he's always said, but don't listen to me, listen to the, to the big guy who were playing before me. So, as I said, I think that if you want to to to, to play uh, to play a, a very good uh, bluegrass uh, feeling, uh, I think you 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 have to manage to play all time because there's all time in bluegrass. You have to manage to play blues because there's blues in bluegrass. Okay, thank you, Anel. Yes, Polo Burguier. Um, okay, so how? How many time do we have? Ah, it's quite one hour. So, um, yes, okay. I, I can go down with the with with the message. So I only see the the last ones. So uh, if you if you if I didn't answer to a to a message, please send send it to me again. Okay, don't uh, don't hesitate if I want to to answer. So um, well, I hope um, I hope this uh, this workshop um, um, was um, telling you stuff you already know because it's inside your body, but maybe something you didn't uh, make uh, up your your conscience, your con your conscience, uh, and uh, and I hope uh, it will give you a lot of uh, energy to practice uh, by your own and to find ideas. Um, to find ideas uh, to to make your your own progression and to be your own your own teacher. Can you play something for feeling? Thank you for sharing this. Okay, no, my pleasure. Um, I don't know the big uh, the big medley. Uh, yes, let's try. Thank you, Raphael. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So let's play. Uh, and you you, are, you have to guess. Uh, what kind of music is it? Is it? <laughs> Thank you. 
back yes <laughs> okay well i was not ready for that but um uh okay i hope uh, it was uh, good enough it was good enough for um for what we need pom pom me que significa tell me in english please luis <laughs> Bravo, thank you Anna. Okay, les girafes sont folles. Thank you Val. Okay. 
Okay, Luis, I can't hear you. No, the oil. Hello, hello, Luis, Luis. So, well, don't forget this. I don't hear no micro, Luis. Don't forget this, okay? And don't forget to send me your email if you want uh, me to send you the um, little summary of what we uh, we were talking about. Ah, hey, gracias. Hola, hola, gracias. Hola, hola. Ah, sí. ah, sí. ah hey, bravo, John, uh, bravo, mon ami. Gracias. Bravo. Merci, mon ami. Good, to, uh, great uh, workshop. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, sorry, sorry for the problem connection. It's the freeze one. So we are managing all the things to do with this new Barcelona Bluegrass Camp online edition. And I think everybody at his uh, home, uh, house, uh, on the street, everywhere, clap your hands to this guy that is, he's amazing. It's my favorite fiddle player and uh, uh, you, guy. So thank you, thank you very much. And I think it's great. Uh, we, all of us, we really enjoy the lessons. I was trying to, to play with my violin. Yes. It was not possible. I, so I didn't understand the lesson, but anyway, I will check out the game. But uh, where's, your, where's your bow? Uh, the bow, well, here, here it's my bow. Ah, uh, so yeah. My bow and difficult. Anyway, it's a joke, as you know, you know me. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to all the people watching. We are really happy. It was between 45 and 50 people. And for sure, more people are going to watch the YouTube and the, on the other things. And uh, I think we have a more special guest, uh, as Jean-Marie Redon. I think he's going to end. Yes. yes. I have a, I have a question. Because yes. I'm trying now, uh, the the bow, you know, yes. is it like this or yes. like this? Well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you kill. You have to teach him. You have to tell him how to play. Yeah. I will answer if I see you dancing with oh, you. Okay. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next time we will dance all together. Okay. Oh yeah, very soon we hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> next, next year, all together, enjoying the Barcelona Bluegrass Camp, the seventh edition. Yeah. So, as I mentioned, thank you very much to uh, Rafael for this great workshop. Thank you very much you. to Jean Marie, to yeah, Sharon. Really nice to see you. Really nice to see you, especially at this time that all of us we are locked down in our places. So I think uh, it's nice to be in contact the Bluegrass family. Just to yeah. remember, tomorrow in the morning, Richard Tiferski, in the afternoon, is Martino Coppo, and then it's going to be uh, Chris Luquet with a great tribute to Tony Rice. Mm -hmm. And I think right now he's going to enter uh, John Manel, he's going to advertise. Uh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, clap your uh, hands because uh, this uh, man is awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you, thank you, John Manel. For, for doing all yeah. you do. Thank, thanks a lot. Yeah, very good job. <laughs> well, now it's time for commercials, no? <laughs> In principle. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, all, thanks everybody. And thanks also, uh, Rafael, for you. I will take all this screen just to make this promotion. Yeah. And just to remind, you can find us in, in Facebook and all this on in all social net, networks. Uh, and one moment, we are al Ras Festival Association. We are, we used to organize a festival every year, a Bluegrass Festival, and you have also also this information here. We have some initiative to to get some money, but I will to mention two of our sponsors. One is BS Audio Systems that is supplying very nice instrument and microphones, and also Artist Works. That you have, you know, that he's is is emitting or is uh, online courses of courses of of a lot of instruments, banjo, fiddle, bluegrass vocals, bluegrass mandolin, and we have the opportunity of to have these two pro these two products at the artist works 
a subscription of one year subscription and also two microphones for our raffle you can buy these tickets on paypal or just send an, an, an email if you are you don't have paypal perhaps you can, we, you, we can send we can have an alternative to make this payment if you want to buy some tickets for a, for this raffle that will be conducted on sunday at seven in the evening uh i don't know who will be the this this hand that will take the number but okay uh we will organize this on on sunday evening and now we, i think we have all finished perhaps just Luis and Rafael have something to say to to end this. Well, I think it's uh, if uh, no more questions, as uh, Rafael says, send him uh, an email and he's going to provide information about the workshop. Rafael is on the net; he has a great website, so you know it's all the information right now is you can get on the on internet. So thank you very much. And now we are going to the backstage because the yes. person progress scam is backstage and we are going to finish this bottle with Jean-Marie, yes. with Rafael and with uh, John manel of course. So, Thank you very much, my friend. I hope it was good because it was the first time for me. So I hope I managed this uh, the good way. For sure. Uh, for sure. I'm not sure uh, yet to this. So thank you very much for uh, having making me this opportunity and please all the people thank you very much for uh, being uh, being there uh, it's uh, it means a lot on, in those time and um so um let's uh, let's go ahead let's play music everybody and let's yes. uh, let's leave yes okay. Salud. Salud. Bye. bye bye ciao <laughs>